Clean clothes are always a good thing. I don't know how often they would give you clean clothes. Twice a week. Twice a week? Mm-hmm. That's it? Mm-hmm. There you go. Do y'all have to do your own laundry, or do they? No. They bring it in a big thing, and they hand it out to you, and you change, and, and the other batch. Alrighty then. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? I I don't know. Kind of like a biscuit, sweet biscuit and cornbread. What? That's it? Just bread? Mm-hmm. Did you ever get that food ordered from commissary so you could actually eat something? I did. I can send you those packs that Wanda was talking about so you can actually have something to eat. No, I had ordered, I mean, granted, the only thing that's on there is kind of like three days, but it's enough to get by and hopefully uh, it's not going to be much longer. I don't know. Thanks to your boy, Rusty. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm really mad at him, but I really honestly, I don't want to talk to him. Sorry, but... Mm-hmm. Too selfish of them to lie like that. Well, of course, I haven't heard what was really said. What? Oh, but he, he told me enough that he was being selfish, and if you're telling me you're being selfish, then obviously you know you did something wrong. So, as far as I'm told you that. The reason you're, yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned. He told you that? <laughs> yeah, from his mouth that he was being selfish, and he was scared. He didn't want anything to happen to him. He's a coward. Is that what he called himself? No, that's what I called him. I don't but know. he called himself selfish. And that's just not a good enough excuse to me. You know, I'm not going to say anything in here. I'm not going to take care of it when I get home. Mm-hmm. Once you to understand that, I don't think you can... People have your best interests at heart. Always. And it really frustrates me. I go above and beyond for you, and then he doesn't even tell me, you know, that he has done anything like that. So I just walk into his wallet, and then we all look like fools. Yeah, I mean, and I couldn't say anything, you know. You know. <coughs> that it will be yeah. taken care of. Alrighty, well, we don't have much time, but I just want to tell you, okay, make sure you're okay. Today was day 11 of the Melody Ferris trial, and we listened to several jailhouse calls between Melody and Amanda and Melody and Rusty. One particular call between Amanda and Melody really stood out. In this call, you can hear Amanda's frustration with Rusty. But what's so mind-boggling is how easy it is for Amanda not only to support her mom, but to also be comfortable talking to Rusty. Yes, Amanda was frustrated with him, but the fact that she's willing to give him the time of day is pretty strange. Then, when we heard the calls between Rusty and Melody, they briefly spoke about Amanda. Rusty seems to be in the loop about all the plans Amanda's putting in place, like hiding one of the vehicles so Chris, her brother, can't locate it. You can hear, as Melody and Rusty talk about Amanda and how she's helping her mother, that Amanda is very much like her mom. In my opinion, if I were Amanda's husband, I'd be sleeping with one eye open, and I'd never allow a burn pit on the property. During the calls with Amanda, she made it clear multiple times how loyal she is to her mom, how she's going out of her way to protect her. And I've got to ask, if Amanda is like her mom, which I personally think she is, is she really protecting her mother? Or is she protecting the money and assets her mom still has? I don't know exactly what Melody's financial situation looks like now. I don't know if she got any payout from the insurance money, and personally, I don't think she did. We do know from opening arguments that the farm was financed to the max. So I don't think Melody, who loves money, has much left. However, maybe if she's found not guilty, those insurance policies will pay out, if they haven't already, which I don't think they did. And maybe that's why Amanda is fiercely supporting her mom and cozying up to Rusty. But with all that said, I'd love to hear from you. Do you think Amanda is genuinely supporting her mother, or is she more interested in the money? 
And lastly, what do you think Amanda's husband must be thinking throughout all of this? And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.